Are you looking for the best holographic sites in your budget? Well in today's video, we break down the top 5 best holographic sites that are available on the market. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I tried to list them based on their price quality, durability, and more to see the more information about these product. I found these products much helpful for people like you. You can check out the description below also make sure you subscribe for more videos. Okay so let's get started with the video. Number 5. Holocene 510C. As a general rule, holographic and reflex sites are both red dot sites. The main difference is that the Holocene has LED technology versus the laser diode in a holographic site. It's not necessarily a drawback but a key design difference I think is worth noting. A very attractive feature I find crucial, and you will too, is the long-lasting battery life and dual power sources compared in my full test review. Auto mode provides ambient controlled brightness and draws power from the integrated solar panel. It's ideal as a fail-safe for when the CR2032 battery fails in manual mode. Number 4. EOTAC XPS3. The XPS3 is the smallest and lightest site of all EOTECA's HWS. Weighing only 9 ounces and is 3.8 times 2.1 times 2.5 inch in size, it makes for a lightweight hollow system leaving plenty of rail space for additional accessories on your AR-15, and yes, you'll want to mount some extra gadgets. Built with an integrated 1 inch weaver or Picatinny mount, it'll fit your MSR easily. Like all EOTech sites, it's fog resistant and waterproof. The XPS3 takes 1XCR123 lithium battery that can provide up to 1,000 hours of continuous use. This model has the 68 MOA ring with one MOA center dot. Transition between 7 and 50 yards for CQB shooting and then ping steel out to 200 yards with the .223 calibrated reticle. Number 3. EOTEC HHSIE XPS3-4 with G33 magnifier. Looking at the price alone, you'd wonder why you're paying more for the EXPS3 HWS. However, you're getting a two-in-one bundle with this buy. It might cost close to a grand, but the included G33 magnifier makes the difference. The EXPS3 site is 11.2 ounces and is 3.8 times 2.3 times 2.9 inch in size, slightly more compact than some other EOTech models. It has a side-loading battery compartment that takes 1x CR123 for 1,000 hours of use at nominal setting, 12. There are a total of 30 brightness settings with 10 compatible with NV, night vision. The HHS will automatically shut down after 8 hours of non-use, but it's also programmable to shut down after 4. Number 2. EOTech XPS2. The XPS2 is made for three gun competitions, and it's a cheaper option versus EOTECA's hybrid models. To get you on target at speeds expected of a hollow site, this model has a the 68 MOA ring with one MOA center dot. With a .223, you can use the center dot for 50 and 200 yards and the bottom of the ring for close range shots of 7 yards. To see the reticle at its best in any condition, the XPS2 has 20 brightness levels to adjust to your preferred setting. However, you can't save your preferred brightness setting as it will kick back to the default setting on startup, this seems like a bit of a drawback to me. Note, this is non-compatible with NV gear. With a 123 lithium battery, you'll have up to 600 hours of continuous use on nominal brightness setting at room temperature. Number 1. Vortex Razor AMG UH-1 Gen 2. Holographic sites have always had poor battery runtime compared to reflex red dot sites. This remains true with Vortex's Gen 2 Holocyte. It takes a CR123A battery estimated to provide 1,500 hours of runtime based on medium settings with normal use. The auto shutoff after 14 hours is a helpful feature but can be disabled for instantly ready use. However, conservative use of the AMG UH-1 will still only provide a maximum of 62 days, approximate, of operation. Spare batteries should be kept on hand since the micro USB port has been removed. It will be missed as it used to allow for recharging rechargeable batteries. At least the battery compartment cover is now toolless. Though no specs are provided, Vortex says they increased the size of the rear sight window to expand its HUD-like appeal and apparent FOV. This model is also IPX8 waterproof, was upgraded with XR FMC coatings.